This is Shelley Kraft coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at the New Orleans Investment Conference 2016. I have with me Carlos Vicens of Neolithium. It's a publicly traded company, and the symbol is NLC on the TSX Venture. Carlos, welcome to SNN Live. Thanks for having me here, Shelley. It's a pleasure to be here. It's good to have you. What I'd like to start out with is an overview on Neolithium. Sure. Well, thanks. Uh, so Neolithium is a newly discovered uh, lithium brine in the Lithium Triangle in Argentina. When I say new, it's, it's very new. We, our, our founders found this, discovered this property in December of last year. Uh, through December last year to today, we've been able to do sampling work. We've been able to raise 18 million Canadian of funds. we have putting all the money back into the project. We've winterized the road. We're building the camp. Uh, we're building an evaporation pond, a lab. And, you know, we've obviously going to continue on with putting the money back into the project and we're expecting to be drilling next month, which is something very important for us to demonstrate that we have enough resources to go forward. What's the size of the deposit, firstly? Well, that's a very hard question because of the fact that we can't really say that the size. What we can tell you is this. Um, the deposit seems to have very unique characteristics that no other deposit in the world has. To give you an example, at the north side, uh, the north part, we call it the northern target, we have a reservoir. When I say a reservoir, it's a lake, a lake of brine lithium. Uh, this brine lithium lake has one of the highest grades of any other, um, well, it has the highest grade in Argentina, for sure, in terms of milligrams per liter of lithium, and it's one of the highest in the region in comparison to the Chilean ones. And also, what we do have in the northern target is very low impurities, which are very important for um, the, the brine discovery. So the combination of high grade and, and low impurities is what makes this project unique. In terms of size, we can't really say anything until we prove up the resource, but we intend to do that in the next two or three months. You don't stumble on resources like this unless you stumble on resources like this. I mean, I'm not trying to be funny. I mean, I've heard it both ways. I mean, people knew they were there and they went and found them, or they didn't know they were there and they went looking and they found something. Well, we have one of the best uh, exploration crews, and you know, maybe a lot of companies say this, but Waldo Perez, who is our CEO, he lives in Argentina. He's walked. I believe, the entire Argentinian landscape. He, he looked at this project about 10 years ago, I believe, but he looked at it on the south, and in the south, he got lower grades, high impurities, and we tested that. He said, well, this is not gonna be, this is not gonna be the best uh, that project that we can, you know, obviously go forward with. So when he looked at it this time, he was in the north part of the project. The north part of the project is where we find this uh, lithium reservoir that, we, that I just mentioned. That's high grade, low impurities, and when he stumbled upon it, literally stumbled upon it, you know, we couldn't believe what he was saying until we essentially proved it. We did a sam 255 samples, we, we sent it in to uh, a third party validator, and you know, that's, that's the story. It's as simple as that, really. And it, as you say, it's very hard to find these properties like that. But in, in this case, we did. It's a, newly, it's a new discovery, it's not a, a rehash of an old project. So we think we have the real thing here. And is that where the name Neolithium comes from? That's right. It's neo, meaning new, uh, and also because we, we also have a chairman, uh, Constantine Karyanopoulos, who joined us as a chairman, and he had a company. He was uh, the ex-chairman of Molycorp, and Molycorp, uh, he sold his old company called Neo Materials to Molycorp. So the combination of neo for new and neo materials made this company be named Neolithium. Why lithium? Well, lithium right now is one of the best uh, performing uh, commodities in the market. There's no question. I mean, with all the hype in terms of Tesla coming in and all the Europeans and China's uh, industry going uh, and uh, growing so much, uh, essentially twofold or threefold over the last uh, year or so, uh, we, we weren't essentially looking for lithium when we stumbled upon this. However, our CEO, Waldo Perez, was the founder and CEO of Lithium America, so he knows a little bit about lithium. In fact, he's one of the most knowledgeable lithium brine uh, developers, explorers in the world, if not the best. So when we stumbled upon this, he knew what he was looking at, uh, and he definitely uh, moved forward with it. But we weren't essentially looking for a lithium project. He's, you know, he's obviously worked in gold, copper, and all kinds of other uh, bigger um, explorers so, and companies like Barrick, but uh, you know, we stumbled upon a very good project. And 
lo and behold, it was lithium, and we know about lithium. Uh, so it was something that just literally got handed to us in the hand here, and you know, we're running with it, for sure. You know, I remember back in the day, years ago, when the first lithium companies came in, and no one was sure of lithium, yeah, no one yeah. knew, no one even knew where it was going to be used, and they were talking about these things called battery-operated cars, you know, and energy-saving, and now it's almost matured to a point where it's a matter of, like, almost every car is going to be energy efficient. Tell me about lithium, the pricing, and potential size of the market. Well, I mean, there's there's different views in terms of where this new EV or electrical vehicle is going to go. There's different types of electrical vehicles. You got the plug-ins, you got the hybrids, and you got the full electrical vehicles. The combination of those three, we will never know. You know, for us as a as a lithium explorer and potentially a producer, we would love it all to be electrical vehicles because that's where the majority of lithium goes to. But I think it's going to be a combination of the three. Now, how big this market's going to be? Well, there's you know there's obviously the bull and the bear here, and you can see that at the, at the low end, there's about 300 tons, 350,000 tons in 2025, which is essentially doubling what we have today, about 175, 180,000 tons. Or there's the, the the bull guys are talking about 800, even to a million tons in 2025. So there's a big discrepancy. Even if we're at somewhere in the middle, the 500,000 ton per, an, uh, per annum at year 2025, that means that there's a lot of projects that need to come into market. And that's what you, when you talk about pricing. Well, what's the pricing going to be at the time? It would all depend on how many projects are producing. Right now, uh, the pricing in terms of long-term agreements are around the 10000 range, $10,000 per ton. Uh, but in China last year or this year, beginning of this year, we were talking about $25,000 per ton because it was a deficit in the Chinese market and the spot market. Uh, is that going to continue? No, I don't think so because there's, a, there's some capacity coming in in the Australian market with spodumene that are going to essentially supply the Chinese market. But, um, you know, that's not going to continue. That supply is there. What's going to happen next? Well, our project and other projects in the region, in Argentina and Chile, will have to come online. If there's any issues there in terms of uh, the way they're ramping up or any other issues in terms of if they can get permits and so forth, then you're in deficit again. So the price can go up. In my own opinion, the price is going to be stable around the 10000 for for the for the foreseeable future, but we don't know whether it's going to be in five or ten years. Hopefully, you know, higher the better, yes, but then you need to look into what the cost profile is for each of the projects. What's your background? My background, well, I'm a corporate development. I, was, I worked in corporate development in the U.S. for many years in the energy side. And um, after that, I went to Canada and did my MBA and started working in investment banking. So I've been working in the banking system for about eight years. And the last couple of years, I've been in corporate mining. So a little bit of everything. But uh, I think it, it bodes well for the team because my language skills in the capital market side in Canada help the team that is local in Argentina, which is another important thing. All our, all our operating team is in Argentina, which makes it even more important. Carlos, let's give your website out to our investor audience for more information, if you would. Sure, thank you. So our website is neolithium.ca, and we're listed in Toronto Stock Exchange Ventures under the signal NLC. Ladies and gentlemen, Carlos Vicens, Neo Lithium, publicly traded company, and the symbol is NLC on the TSXV. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live, and we're coming to you live from the New Orleans Investment Conference 2016. Carlos, thanks for coming on. Thank you for having me, Shelley. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.